Hello guys and welcome to another plan with me. We are going to be planning March 14th through the 20th. I have my inserts which are from the good old Aura Estelle. I do have some tweezers here from Sassy Planner Co. And the kit I am using is this Attack on Titan kit from Keytown. Like I've been mentioning for all these March plan with me's I did them themed on things that Chris likes because it is his birthday month this I'm obviously not going to use I know that Keaton the owner of the shop is doing a kit reformat currently and hopefully he takes those out I did forget some things let me be right back okay now let's get into the foil I do have this page topper from planner pixie Co. because I do not like the deco in these kits I have whoa some misfit corners from my shop. I have confetti four from my shop. I have some bow headers from my shop. I have this 15 millimeter washi from SPC. I am doing the underlays of scratch in silver. And then I have like a million quote cool overlays from my shop. So we will see what I end up actually bringing in to the spread. <sighs> Okay, here we are with the base, and let me find those good old glitter headers. Here they are, and obviously, as per usual, um, I will be answering random questions from the internet. The next plan with me that I'm filming, like next week's, my friend who did my best friend plan with me is gonna be here. We like have plans to hang out and like usually I would just skip filming and film a different day, but he said he wants to like see me do it now that he's done it. So I'm gonna have like a live studio audience. So it'll be interesting. These colors are very fall and it's finally starting to feel like spring here. So it's just like funny, like what are the odds? Finally not disgusting out, and I have a very fall vibes kit. Anywho. So my first question is, what's my favorite quote right now? I have a couple of favorite quotes, just like period. I don't really, they don't like change. I have straight tattooed on me. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live, which is from Harry Potter. That one will be a forever favorite of mine. And then, um, I'll probably put the Titan in the corner. It's Aaron, I think. Aaron, one of these is Aaron and one of these is Levi. That's Aaron, that's Levi. That one's name is maybe Armin. Couldn't tell ya. I actually do not like this show at all. But, um, yeah. So, there's that one that I really like. There's other ones from Harry Potter that I'm a big fan of. Like, the ones that love us never really leave us. And, um, we all have both light and dark inside of us. Which matters is what you choose to act on because that's who you really are. And then, my favorite non-Harry Potter quote is actually from The Lion King. Rafiki says it. He says it, he, like, hits Simba a couple of times and Simba's like, Dude, knock it off. That fucking hurts, man. And Rafiki goes, yes, the past, it can hurt, but we can either run from it or we can learn from it. And so that's another, like, fave quote of mine. Um, What have you been up to since I saw you last? I'm going to go with since I last filmed. I'm just going to talk about this. I talked about this briefly in my um instagram story but i'm gonna talk to you guys about it here because i'm excited and you know what i think you should be able to talk about what you're excited about and not worry about it for being annoying so the time of filming this my wedding's actually two months from today and obviously i'll briefly discuss this in the day today but like i'm gonna be able to go through details so this past friday chris my fiance and i had an appointment at our wedding venue with our new wedding coordinator. I did tell you guys a couple videos back that we like 
a week and a half ago got reassigned to a new wedding coordinator the venue we have assigns you one and we've been working with the same girl since we got engaged in 2020 so it's kind of stressful like a couple months until the wedding and bam we have a whole new wedding coordinator it very much so freaked me out but i think it's for the best she's actually incredible I've been nothing but impressed with her thus far. Very, like, good. So we met with her, and it went, went really well. We basically went over everything for the wedding. And, like, the one thing I've been really disappointed with at this venue so far has been how they handled the food tasting. I told my dad this, and he actually, like, super agreed. Like, they just basically had, like, a buffet for, like, the hors d'oeuvres. Didn't really tell you what was what, what was included in which package. And they were just having you sample things from, like, a bunch of different packages, which was confusing. And so, we... And then when they did the dinners, they just brought out, like, a big plate that was basically cut into thirds with, like, a chicken, a beef, and a fish dish. And didn't really say anything. So when we're talking to this girl, first we're going over like our vendors and this, that, and the other thing. And then we get into the food, which is why we made the appointment because I wanted to like lock in our food choices. And so you get to pick two like meat options and then a vegetarian option. So I picked the vegetarian, and then we picked like the chicken and the beef. And um, she's like, okay, so you get to pick a starch and a vegetable to go with each of them they can be different they never explained that to us in the food tasting they just brought out like a chicken dish with like a starch and a vegetable and a beef and it just says like it doesn't say anywhere in the paperwork that you have to pick it so we were just like on the spot like uh okay and then she asked us other questions like we're getting married in a ballroom Again, if you, like, ever want to see any of pictures of these things, just message me on the good old Instagram. But we're getting married in this ballroom that's, like, very Beauty and the Beast energy to me. And, um, there's, like, so you walk in and it's a big ballroom. And then if you turned around, there's a bunch of balconies. And up there, like, before you walk into the ballroom, there's, like, stairs to go up there. And there's also up there is, like, the bridal rotunda where, like, I'll be getting ready and stuff. And, um, she's like, so, because we're doing a sweetheart table, she's like, are you going to have, the, do you want the DJ on the balcony? I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, well, I don't know if you thought about it yet, da, 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 da. Like, this is information that I have never heard. Nobody had given me this invitation. In, invitation. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It always throws me off when I have to do two on the bottom. Yo, we're probably like, Hannah, what the frick are you doing? I didn't do enough stuff on Sunday to need that. Okay. So that was, again, something, uh, some information I had not been given prior. And then back to the bridal rotunda, it's like this room that they provide that you can get ready in. And in, like, our original contract, it literally says that, we get that at 11 a.m. So that's what I've been telling, like, my vendors, right? 11 a.m. No. She says to me, she's like, okay, so for the bridal rotunda, we can open that as early as, we can open it as, at, like, do I want to use the black or do I want to use the white? I think the white. She's like, we can open it at, um, we usually open it around 7 a.m. First off. That is way bad, like, way good news because I'm over here stressing. Like, how is my makeup artist going to do my makeup, all five of my bridesmaids, my officiant, my cousin is officiating the wedding and as, like, a thank you, I'm paying for her hair and makeup. So my officiant and, like, my mother-in-law. How is she going to do all of her makeup between 11 when we get in there to start getting ready and, um... 4.30, the time of the ceremony. Like, I was stressing. It took her an hour and a half to do my makeup for the trial. I forgot my scissors. So, yeah, I've been so stressed out. And she says to me, she's like, but if you need it earlier than that, we can open it as early as 6, 5.36. Just let me know when you want it opened. We just have to make sure we have security here to open it. Like, great news. We got to pick, like... They have, like, this menu you can add. It's, like, an 
add-on, I guess, type thing to have different snacky foods while you're getting ready. So we got to pick those. I picked for in my room for while we're getting ready to have um, pretzel, like soft pretzel bites with cheese and then loaded kettle cooked chips because that is my vibe. They have like pastries and like finger sandwiches, but like absolutely not. Chris also picked the kettle chips and he also picked hearty sandwiches. So that's what him and his bros will be snacking on, which will be fun. And so we did all of that. What else did we talk to her about? Oh, and then we talked about also something that was never explained to me was that we had to pick which beers and wines we wanted, which anybody who knows me knows I do not drink alcohol. So Chris does, so that was fine. We picked the beers, that was pretty easy. I know what kind of beer my dad drinks and like, you know, he's paying for a lot of this. So I'm like, yup, we have to have like his beer. So we did that and then Chris picked the other ones. But then the like, okay, I need to put one of these on here. But the thing is, is that it's a little bit smaller than a full box. So, okay. So, Chris is picking this, but then we get to the wines, and neither of us are wine drinkers. So, we're like, what do people usually pick? And she's like, well, we usually automatically put champagne on there, and so people will usually pick our two reds, two whites, and then you can pick either a rosé or keep the champagne. So we picked two reds, two whites, and kept the champagne. So that'll be that. That's something I was not aware we had to, like, do. Like, it was just never explained. Nobody ever brought it up. Our old wedding coordinator clearly sucked ass. So we had to pick that. And then... Another thing I was unaware of is that there's like two hours that are unaccounted unaccounted for hours. Basically, that's that is a, for like alcohol wise, because we are doing an open bar, but apparently it only covers like four hours, I think. So there's like a total of six hours. So two hours are unaccounted for and you have to like figure out what you want to do oh my god that was a way too bright ass blue okay, i'm gonna go with this color and so i was like yeah we will probably just keep it open the extra hours and she's like well i can send you over the price list and i talked to my dad and my dad's just like no that look so my dad's words were i don't want to look cheap we're keeping it open so it'll be open the whole time and then she brought up like the rehearsal which like I did briefly think about obviously and I was thinking we would probably just have it at the venue because like they obviously have food there and it was an option and so she was like have you looked at the menu for that I was like nobody has like literally nobody has given me any of this information I didn't know there was a whole ass menu and she's like, okay, yeah, I'll send it to you. So and she was just like really a rock star because she told me she wasn't going to get be able to get me this info until early next week. I literally, she sent it to me on a Saturday. And that's just incredible because our last wedding coordinator, I couldn't get a hold of her ever. I would always get her, I'm out of the office email. So literally, so long as this girl continues to be this amazing, I will be like calling them up and my dad actually knows the owner of the building and be like give me his number because she needs a raise she's amazing so i was like okay and like again it's only a couple of months away so like if we don't decide if we're doing this here and like get this shit booked then they only have like x amount of like rooms and like availability for catering so she got me that information on saturday and so i was actually at my dad's which made it literally ideal they only have one room available 
and it's called the ABC room, I think. And it's, they call it the ABC Tiffany room. It's literally Tiffany blue, which like isn't really my vibe, but it's just a rehearsal dinner. So who really gives a shit? And then there's like a fee for renting the room. And then there's like a minimum we have to spend on food. I decided we are not doing an open bar for the cocktail or the, not cocktail, the rehearsal dinner, because I do not want the, like it's, the rehearsal of all of the important contenders of your wedding. I don't want them being all hung over the next day. So I'm like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. And then we're doing a buffet and there was like three different options. And honestly, the cheapest one is the only one that had an option that I will consume. And me and Madame were looking at it. He's like, well, tell her you'll get back to her on the menu. I'm like, dad, there's literally, like, I won't eat anything on the other three menus. He's like, oh, well, then I guess we're going with that one. So there's going to be Caesar salad, caprese salad. The food that I picked for me to eat is like um, rigatoni with vodka sauce, which is honestly like my favorite like pasta dish, pasta combo. And then we picked stuff bait or like a stuffed chicken breast. Don't know what it's stuffed with. Didn't really say. I don't remember what it comes with. And then shrimp scampi. Oh, it doesn't come with anything because it's a buffet, not a plate of dinner. Duh. Shrimp scampi. And um, what's it called? Utica greens, some Tuscan bean soup, not sure what that means. And these were misfit, so please don't judge how bad they look. But, um, oh, and mini cannolis. Oh, so good. I love a cannoli. So that's going to be, like, the rehearsal dinner. Another thing that, like, I need to ask you guys. I'm going to be transparent with you. I've asked, like, everybody in my life this, and they've all confirmed with me that, like, I'm good and like I don't need to stress about this but she brought it up and it stressed me out is wedding favors I don't want to look like some like I'm just being cheap and not getting them but I just truly think they're the world's biggest waste of money like any wedding favor I've ever gotten I've basically thrown away like I don't want a koozie I don't want a bottle opener I don't want anything with the bride and groom's name on it like besides like our parents and maybe like our siblings nobody wants a bunch of shit that just says Hannah and Chris May 21st 2022 like nobody wants that okay I'm being honest I don't want to hand out mints or back in the day, would they do matches? Like, it's just all maximum cringe to me. So, what I'm doing is, like, I'm doing a big seating chart. And that, at, at everybody's seat, it's, like, a hexagon-shaped piece of acrylic with custom engraved, like, your name in it. And then you, it, like, is also can double as a coaster. So, I truly, in, like, my heart of hearts, feel like that is fine for a favor like I don't need anything else like first off they're kind of expensive and you can take that home and it's personalized with your name not ours so I'm doing that and then another thing that I've been freaking stressing over is welcome bags so like I know like we're getting married at a hotel okay um I figure out what I want to use. <laughs> these are the. Eh, I'll go with some of these. So um, we're getting married at a hotel, so a lot of people are getting rooms there in our room block, and I feel like traditionally you do welcome baskets for like your out of town guests who are staying at like the local hotels around your venue. I don't think people typically are getting married at a hotel like we are and basically my entire family a lot of Chris's family are all just staying there for shits and giggles so they don't have to like get a ride home to avoid drunk driving you know being responsible human beings which is awesome I'm excited I'm really glad I'm gonna get to spend extra time with everybody and hang out but then I'm like, what do I put in these fucking welcome bags? Because I feel like I want to do them. I think they're cute. And then 
Like when I see them, it's like people will put like what to do like in the area. And like I do have some like some of my planner friends who live out of town who are coming and I do a family from out of town who will be coming. Like there's nothing to do, honestly, besides like get mugged <laughs> in the area. Like it's not, I don't live in like some popping place. So basically what I've thought is I'm gonna do each bag will have some like bottled water, one or two bottles of water. And then other things I found you could do is like some snacks. So I'm going to do like a little bag of chips and a candy and a gum. Some Advil, in case you know like hungover type vibes. A hand sanitizer because that's the world we live in. It might have been everything. Chips, candy, gum, hand sanitizer. Oh, and a chapstick, because I'm addicted to chapstick, so it's, like, gotta be me energy. So, is that, like, good? Is that okay? Can you let me know, please? So, it looks like I'm not answering a lot of questions, because I just talked about that for the entirety of the base, but that's fine. Maybe chatting. It's good. So, this is the base. Scratch is, like, my favorite. Scratch and Sparkle are my two favorite, like, anytime underlays when I don't have anything else I should be using scratch and sparkle those are the ones so I do have for my sidebar this is from inspire ever after it says do not let the worry control you because this was a mentally exhausting week we will just leave it at that now let us get on into it one two three we got five things up on Monday. Classic me on a Monday. I'm always doing like a million things. I literally have room to mark like one more thing in my planner for today. Because today is Monday when I'm filming this and it is not even noon. After I'm done filming this. See, it's like I don't even have room to work out. So I'm like, what the fuck is the point of working out today? So I probably won't, honestly, just because I'm so busy. Because after this, I need to go to Target because this week is Chris's birthday. Like, literally, it's on Friday, and I've gotten him nothing. So, gotta go do that. Anywho, so Monday, speaking of birthdays, it was my cousin Audrey's birthday. She turned two. Her parents are pregnant right now with the second baby, and they are not finding out if it's a boy or a girl. So, it's really exciting. It was also payday, so I have a money here. Oh, the balloon and the money are both from Carly Plants, which I do PR for. Use Hannah 15, save 15% off, get my freebie. It helps me out, it helps you out. If something's already on sale, just pop Hannah on the notes, you'll still get the freebie. The payday is from my shop in Font One and Silver. We did go to the post office, that sticker is from SPC, and I have a custom PO drop from my shop. Then we got McDonald's, which that Happy Meal is from Carly Plans, and then the McDonald's is from my shop in Font Five and Silver. And then I did plan. So I have a planner there from Carly Plans as well as a plan script from my shop in Font 5. On to the second portion of the day. I filmed some crapola. Probably a plan with me. And I think I also filmed a um, haul clip. I was mentally unwell this day truly if i'm being honest with you okay so for filming i have a camera here from carly plans and a film script from my shop in font five in silver and then i was i got my period later this week so this all makes sense all of my like emotions like every day so that's from Pumpkin Paper Co. Pretty sure they're not open anymore. And then I have a sad bitch script from my shop in Font One in Silver. And then we were trying to watch Fairy Tale, like the anime. We've already given up on it. But the TV is from my shop and the Fairy Tale script is from my shop, both in Silver. This is in Font Five. On to Tuesday. We have another a birthday to mark. What color is this? Let me see. Blue. Okay. So my cousin has twins and it was their birthday this day. So that's cool. Chris and I it did go to the movies. The movie marquee in this kit is wild. It's like out of control the size of it. Holy macaroni. And this should fit fine. Okay. 
So it's my cousin's Ben and Bella's birthday. So we have a cupcake from Carly Plans. And this is from my shop. It just says Ben and Bella. Chris and I did go see the Batman this day. So I have the sticker from Once More With Love to mark that. I hated it. It was entirely too long. Not a fan. And I got loaded fries while we were there because it's three hours long. So I had to get food. Food literally. I got loaded french fries and a soda. And Chris got a soda and a cheeseburger. And it was like $50. Ugh, this is so annoying. Any hoozy. Had a little like, YouTube binge this day, which is always fun. And then I got dinner with one of my bridesmaids slash best friends, Liz. I have not seen her since we went to Disney. She's the one who actually got really sick on our Disney trip. So I'm just like really glad to see her cute face and she's feeling better. So for YouTube binge, I have this YouTube icon from Carly Plans as well as YouTube binge from my shop in font four in silver. And for getting dinner with Liz, I have this fork and knife from Carly Plans. And then I have a custom with Liz in font two, which I use font two on things like this because the eyes are hearts and it is cutie, okay? With Liz here, let me show you. You see the cute little hearts? Fresh. And then my photographer for the wedding emailed me like our final invoice, just saying like no rush, just trying to get, like, get invoices sent over love him to death for that because we were able to just we just paid it right then now we don't have to think about that photography uh, done on to wednesday there's no flags in these kits i did mention that keaton is i think that's how you say his name keaton is doing a kit format reformat right now and i'm really excited because i love like the themes of his kits i just hate the format so i'm gonna bring in this to mark that i did work no idea what i worked on this day but i worked on something i have a printer here from chasing chills i don't know why i'm doing that we'll leave it there but i can actually do this in the order that i usually do things not like an idiot So I have work script from my shop in font five and silver and then work YouTube binge literally exactly the same the YouTube thing from Carly plans as well as YouTube binge from my shop font four silver and then I was just so stressed out this day about money honestly am I even fucking in the screen that's from once more with love into the bottom half oh my god so I made like from scratch homemade chicken and waffles this day and it was one of the best things I've ever made it was so fucking good so I was really excited about that. And then I went to bring my sister. I had like, when she orders from Black Magic Melts, which is Carly Plan's husband's wax shop. She just has it like, she does free shipping and then I get it and then I bring it to her because why pay shipping when you literally live in like the same neck of the woods and you're IRL friends with these people. And then I had wax that I was just giving her, so I had to bring her a bunch of wax. Um, so for the chicken and waffles, I have a waffle from Once More With Love, and then I'm going to layer it with like a drumstick from my shop in silver chicken and waffles. And then for bringing wax to my sister, that is purple. I did not realize it when I pulled it, but that is from Carly Plans and the With My Sisters from my shop in Font 4. And then I did film something. This is definitely not in the right order, but oh well. The camera is from Carly Plans and the film script is from my shop in Font 5. And then we began watching Book of Boba Fett. So I have this Boba Fett sticker from Lettering, Lettering Gem, I believe. So we'll pop him in there to mark that. And that is the first half. Moving on to the second half of the spread. Um, I don't know. Oh my god, I need to actually like pull this out because like the dark color it's like almost like a reddish brown so i need to like see if yeah like that's kind of like the color that's what we're going with perfecto 
Gonna use this to mark working. Again, not particularly sure what I worked on. Had a YouTube binge though, so that's always fun. Actually, I remember I was printing invoices this day. This day was just so boring. Literally 10 out of 10 maximum boredom. Literally marked that I was bored. That's how you know it's bad. That's how you know. So I have a printer here to mark that as well as a work script. The, the printer's from SPC. The work is from my shop in font five and silver for YouTube binge. I have the sticker here also from SPC as well as a YouTube binge script from my shop in font four. I have this face from Once More With Love to mark that I was bored as well as bored as fuck which is from my shop in font one. I finished completely the Inventing Anna documentary this day. Actually, I also hate that there's no like labels in these kits. Thankfully, I have a plethora of boxes. This literally has gold in it, so I kind of hate that, but I already pulled it out, so we're using it. Ooh, this was exciting. I won a giveaway this day. I don't ever win shit. But um, Vintage Chic Sense did a giveaway, and I actually won it, so I had to mark that for sure. These little things are so tiny. It's so funny looking. Anywho. So for finishing Inventing Anna, I do have a TV icon from my shop in silver for winning the giveaway of this wax warmer from Carly Plans. And then the Peloton people were supposed to come on Friday to fix the Peloton, and, like, after we were done eating dinner... I get a text from the guy saying he can be there in 15 minutes if we're available to just do it this night. And I was like, hell yeah. So he came and fixed that. That sticker is from SPC. Moving on to Friday. I'm not marking this in the correct order because I didn't have it in the right order in my planner. So we're just going to go with it. We'll use this to mark. We had our appointment at the hotel about the wedding. So I have the, those rings are from Whimsical Cat Studio on their wedding sheet. We did grab, we went on a little cute breakfast date. So we have that to mark, that. Then I need to squeeze two little things in here. Okay, so for breakfast, I do have this like breakfast sticker from Happy Daya. And the, we went to a diner called Julie's, so I just have a Julie script here in font too. And then I did talk on the phone with my sister about um, all the stuff about the wedding. So I have that phone from Carly Plans as well as a with my sister script from my shop in font four. Then we did get groceries, so I have this like grocery cart heart from Carly Plans as well as a Wegmans script from my shop in font five. Second part, um, yeah, got my period literally while we were at that meeting, which is so annoying. And honestly, just full transparency, since COVID, my period, like, has gone from being every, like, clockwork every 28 days to being, like, every 34 days. It's just really pissing me off, honestly. I'm very much so sick of it. Okay, this flag matches it very good. I'm gonna use this to mark working. And obviously, while I worked, I watched Criminal Minds because that's just how we do it. Okay, for my period, I have this shark sticker from Happy Daya and an ant flow script from my shop in font four. And then I felt like literal dog shit, so I'm gonna cut off the word cramps and just have like the munchkin dying here. Literally just dying in pain, cause that's how I felt. And I have a script from my shop that just says fuck my uterus. In font four, and then I did work on order, so I have the silhouette from Carly Plans as well as a work script from my shop in font five and silver, and then Criminal Minds, I have a TV from Carly Plans as well as a Criminal Minds script from my shop in font four in black. Saturday, this was nine weeks until our wedding, which is cuckoo bananas. And so I'm going to put in a half box here. 
And then I did get Chick-fil-A for lunch. Honestly, nothing sounded good. So I really wanted a cookie, so I went there. So for the wedding thing, that's also from that same wedding sheet from Whimsical Cat Studios. I have the laundry detergent from Carly Plans and a laundry script from my shop in Font 5. And for Chick-fil-A, I have a sticker from Inspire Ever After, as well as a Chick-fil-A script from my shop in Font 5 in silver. To the second half of the day. Um, yes, I do need a blue, no. I need like the reddish brownish color flag. Mm. <laughs> you guys ever just break out into the Harry Potter theme song? Because same. This is kind of lighter than I wanted, but it'll be fine. So there's that. And then we did work on wedding things. This is the day that we scheduled everything for the rehearsal dinner. And I messaged all of like my vendors who will be there the day of the wedding. So like my videographer, my photographer, and his assistant, and the DJ, and figured out which dinners they wanted. Because you have to provide them with a meal. So working, that's from Carly Plans, from my shop in Font 5 and Silver. And then for wedding things, I have this rose, which is on the wedding sheet from Carly Plans to mark that. And then for Criminal Minds, I have the TV from Carly Plans, as well as a Criminal Minds script from my shop. Onto the good old Sunday. Two birthdays to mark on the morning part of this day. My uncle, who I did not even wish a happy birthday. And then one of my mom's friends who's like, I'm obsessed with her. She's like the nicest person in the world. I did actually wish her a happy birthday. So it's her birthday. And I filmed my melting basket. Look at me go. Ugh, then I need like a little flag. Do I have a little flag anywhere? Let us see what we can pull out of here. Kind of seems like a little flag. Does this count? Ooh, it does. Perfect. Perfecto. Perfect. So then, yes, let us put down all the thingies. So for my Uncle Jim's birthday, I do have a cupcake from Carly Plans and an Uncle Jim script. And then for Mel's birthday, I do have a cupcake also from Carly Plans and a Mel script. And for filming my melting basket, I have a wax warmer from Carly Plans and a film script from my shop in Font 5. And then for working, I have a silhouette from Carly Plans and a work script from my shop in Font 5. Listen, Carly is like one of my best friends. She's in my wedding, so I obviously support the fuck out of her. And I like just genuinely love her product. So there's that. So this will be to mark watching Criminal Minds. And then I FaceTimed my sister literally for like two hours this day. Like we were just on FaceTime all day long while I was working. It was quite fun. And then Chris and I, he finally let me get Mexican food. So we got Mexican food for dinner. I don't like these boxes, so I don't save them. So, for Criminal Minds, I have a TV from Carly Plans and a Criminal Minds script from my shop in Font 4. For talking to my sister, I have a phone from Carly Plans, as well as a FaceTime Sis script from my shop in Font 4. And then for getting Mexican food, I have this taco from Whimsical Cat Studio, as well as a With Chris script from JoJo Kwan Plans. So, in my last video, I forgot to fill everything out, but I'm going to remember today. I'm going to fill this all out, and then I'll zoom out and show you the day by day.
this is the end of the spread. I think it came out quite cute. I do enjoy it. Let me show you what I have left over from the kit that will all be de-stashed. Um, I literally only used the movie marquee on here. I used most of this page. I used most of this page. There's some washi and some headers here. I have three header overlays. I only use the glitter headers on here. One underlay, some washi date covers, and habit trackers, and I have all the checklists. So if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you did not, then give it a thumbs down, because either way, you're helping out the channel. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm really trying to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So just do it. Comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.